All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x squared over nine to the power of x is equal to 27. So I'm first gonna start by rewriting nine as three squared and 27 as three cubed. So now I have three to the power of x squared over three squared to the power of x is equal to three to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of x, that's gonna be equal to three to the power of two times x, which is three to the power of two x. This is equal to three to the power of three. And now I can rewrite this as three to the power of x squared times three to the power of negative two x is equal to three to the power of three. And a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So this is going to equal 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m equals a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. So now I have x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 3. So I have x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 3. And I have this over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 12 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. So now I have 2 plus 4 over 2 and 2 minus 4 over 2. So I'll get x is equal to 3 or negative 1. All right, so in this problem, I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 60. So I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 60. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 6 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 6 is equal to log 60. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. So then these two cancel out, and now I get x is equal to log 60 over log 6. Now log 60, I can rewrite as log of 6 times 10. So I have this over log 6. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 10, this is going to equal log 6 plus log 10. And I have this over log 6. So now, this is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 10 over log 6. And log 6 and log 6, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So 1 plus 1 over log 6. 
and now log 6 I'm going to rewrite this as log of 2 times 3 so this is going to equal 1 plus 1 over log 2 plus log 3 so now log 2 that's equal to 0 0.301 plus log 3 that's equal to 0 0.4771 so if I add these two together I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.7781 and now 1 divided by 0 0.7781 that's equal to 1.2852. So now 1 plus 1.2852 is 2.2852. Two. All right, so in this problem, I have m squared minus m to the power of 3 is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first add m to the power of 3 on both sides and subtract m squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 12 plus m to the power of 3 minus m squared is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite this as m to the power of 3 minus m squared plus 12 is equal to 0. Now to actually solve, to actually find the solutions for all the solutions for this equation, I need to first start by finding one and use that one solution to find the other ones. So we're going to do that by just simply plugging in values until we find one. So if we start with one, well, obviously, if we plug in one, it wouldn't work. Two, if we plug in two, we have two to the power of three, which is eight. Eight minus four is four. Four plus 12 is 16. 16 does not equal zero. But negative 2, let's see negative 2. So I have negative 2 to the power of 3 minus negative 2 squared plus 12 is equal to 0. Negative 2 to the power of 3 is negative 8. And negative 2 squared is 4. So I have negative 4 plus 12 is equal to 0. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. So I have negative 12 plus 12 equals 0, meaning negative 2 is a solution. So now that I know that negative 2 is a solution, I can use this. to find the rest of the equations, or sorry, solutions, by dividing my equation here, m squared, or sorry, m to the power of 3 minus m squared plus 12 by m plus 2, because m plus 2 is the same thing as saying m equals negative 2 is a solution. So this is the same thing as... m to the power of m squared minus 3m plus 6. So now we have m plus 2 times m squared minus 3m plus 6 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, we have two equations. m plus 2 is equal to 0, and m squared minus 3m plus 6 is equal to 0. So obviously from m plus 2 equals 0, we already know that m equals negative 2. We already found the solution out. But from m squared minus 3m plus 6 equals 0, we have to use the quadratic formula. And I'm not going to waste you guys' time by actually plugging everything in, but you should get that m is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 15i over 2.